welcome back to Royalty Soaps and the first video of our brand new collection launching in April. Now, this entire theme is sort of loosely inspired by my son, Will. He was born in April and I put together a quick Pinterest board of all the things that remind me of him. So I'll pop that up on the screen now. You can see there's lots of nature. Um, there's a lot of pictures of animals in here because Will really, really loves animals. Today we are doing a soap called Clover Apple Tea, which Caroline and I are affectionately referring to as Bone Apple Tea because Clover Apple Tea just sounds too close. Anyway, the fragrance is to die for. I'm actually going to put this on like my top 10 favorite fragrances I've ever mixed. It's really fresh. It's fruity. We got a hanger swirl in there. All the colors are great. Honestly, let's just watch the video, okay? Okay, so all of my soap making oils have been melted down. In this mix, we have olive oil, coconut oil, organic and sustainably harvested palm oil, sweet almond oil, and castor oil. This is my classic royalty soaps recipe. You can find it down in the description box below. I'm just gonna pour in my lye water solution. It has been sitting at room temperature for a while, so using two hands, I'm just gonna hold to my container and pour all the contents in. All right, and let's blend until just past emulsion. Right. This batter is looking nice and luscious. Everything is a bit chilly in my studio today, so you can see a little bit of graininess here that will eventually be blended out once I add the fragrance soil and the colorant. And I'm gonna split this batch into these white pitchers here. They are from Dollar Tree. You can get them for a dollar. And guys, I've been using these for years. I've been a professional soap maker for nine plus years and there are just some goody tools out there that are super cheap and I just will use until my last breath. A lot of people ask me, Katie, how do you do your dishes? Well, at this point in time, I am lucky enough to have a dishwasher and all the soap dishes go into there after being adequately scraped out. But I have done many, many different things over the years when um, my company was a little bit smaller and I was a one woman show. I would put all my dishes in like a garbage bag, let them saponify, and then wash them like I would a regular dish because they already had soap on them. There was already precious little soap on those containers because I scraped them so efficiently, so that was a good way to do it. There was a time when I wiped a lot of the containers out with towels and then would wash those towels on a really, really hot cycle, but I stopped doing that because I felt like my laundry machine was really getting a lot of wear and tear. If I had to give advice on how to wash soap dishes, it would definitely be to let the remnants saponify. If it's not a stick blender, that should, you should just wash in your sink like immediately when you're done using it. But any buckets and stuff, let it saponify and then wash it like you would a normal dish. Just scrub it out, bubble it up, rinse it off and dry it. Now let's talk about coloring these containers. We'll start with our greens. This first green I have here is just straight lettuce entertain you from Matt. Micas. It is an apple green. And also to this container, I will add some organic mint tea leaves. These are peppermint leaves to be specific. In this container right here, I am also adding some lettuce entertain you and a little bit of titanium dioxide. This is mixed with very warm water. Into this container here, we're adding some more lettuce entertain you, but this time we've mixed it with a bit of true yellow. True yellow is one of my favorite colors from TKB Trading. Also going to add a little bit of titanium dioxide to that one. To this container here, we're going to be adding some Trial by Fire. This is from Nurture Soap. And in this container here, we're adding titanium dioxide and some Trial by Fire. So it should be a more pinky red. And to each one of these containers, I am adding my Secret Sauce Proprietary Fragrance Oil Blend for Clover Apple Tea. And let me tell you guys, I would say with most certainty is in my 
my top 10 best fragrance oils I've probably ever blended. It's sweet. It smells a little bit like the springtime. It has some green notes in there and some nuances of like maybe an ivy or just a sweet plant. I don't even know how to describe it, but it is so good. I will probably use this fragrance mix for other products because I'm just obsessed with it. All right, with the fragrance oil in, it is time to blend. All right, these colors look awesome. I'm gonna get to pouring. All right, we're gonna start by pouring in all of our darkest red color. Give it a sort of apple colored bottom here. And I am going to do a hanger swirl through this. I'm gonna do like an up and down looking hanger swirl. And hanger swirls in my, I mean, kind of professional opinion, I guess. <laughs> look better with a little bit of layering. Obviously, I, I'm not that worried about it, but breaking the fall a little bit here, we're gonna get some layered bits in there. It is not going to be perfect, nor does it have to be. All right, here comes our other green with the tea leaves in it. We have our next red color that I will definitely be lightening in the future, but at this point in time, I don't have enough time to do that right now, so I'm not gonna worry about it. And finally, we we have the lightest color here that honestly, I think I'm gonna mix a little bit before I pour in. Should have mixed this one last because it has the most titanium dioxide in it, but just wasn't thinking about it. <laughs> I've gone ahead and tapped that down, and now for the hanger. For this, I'm going up and down, up and down, up and down, and I'm making sure I'm pulling the hanger all the way up and pushing it all the way down to the very, very, very bottom of the mold. Whee! And now I have to tap this down as fast as possible because if I created any sneaky little bubbles in there, pulling that hanger tool through, I want to get rid of them. So I have to tap this mold down pretty good. And at this point, I'm just scraping out my containers, putting all of that extra soap on top. You know, I'm looking at this lighter red color and it might end up lightening a little bit with time. Maybe I won't change it in future batches. We'll have to see. I'm just going to smear this down just a little bit because I am going to texture the top, but I don't want to have like super big lumps on top of some of these soaps. All right, perfect. Put this last green up here. All right, let's put a little texture on the top of this bar here. I'm just going to pull to one side and then the other, I think. That looks pretty neat. I was kind of trying with this soap to give an apple orchard feel. I just felt that matched the general theme so well. And Will's favorite fruit is apples. So I found lots and lots of beautiful photos on Pinterest and honestly in a couple magazines that I was like, man, that really just hits on all sides. And it was like little picnic baskets in an apple orchard. And people having tea and stuff. So I just like melded a whole bunch of ideas together and this is kind of what we came up with. I'm gonna give this a spritz with rubbing alcohol because it's so hard and it has, you know, kind of accelerated a little bit. I just wanna make sure that I give extra gripping power to my glitter. The only glitter I'm adding today is Red Stardust. This is from, of course, my favorite glitter company, The Good Glitter. They are a plastic free, biodegradable, eco-friendly glitter company. And if you use my code ROYALTY, you can get 15% off your first purchase. This is an incredible blend. I'm just going to sprinkle it on top and I'm actually adding a little less on top of these bars than I normally do of glitter. In the future, I might add even less red soap on top so that the glitter stands out just a little bit more. Might make the reds the uh, bottom two layers. Man, oh, the smell, so good. And this is what the soap looks like up close. Now, I cannot wait to give this a cut tomorrow and see the hanger swirl on the inside, and we'll do that in 18 to 24 hours and after this quick commercial break. 
Hey y'all, I'm so excited to tell you about a brand new sponsor, Ritual. Even with the perfect diet, it can be hard to get all the key nutrients we need on a daily basis. Ritual helps women fill the gaps in their diet. It's two easy to take capsules that provide nine high quality nutrients, no shady additives, fillers, or colorants. So you know exactly what's going into your body. The delay release capsule design is gentle on an empty stomach, which is great for me because I take my vitamins first thing in the morning. This is a minor detail, but I also really love the way that they look. I just set them on my counter with my coffee bar and it's not ugly. And I will say the aftertaste is really minty and fresh. It doesn't taste bad at all, which is a major plus and makes it so much easier to take every day. It's vegan friendly, non-GMO, gluten-free, allergen-free, and contains no added sugar. It's only a dollar a day to have nine high quality nutrients your body needs delivered straight to your door every month. Better health doesn't happen overnight, and right now Ritual is offering you all 20% off your first month. Fill in the gaps in your diet with Essential for Women, a small step that helps support a healthy foundation for your body. That's 20% off one month's worth of vitamins or protein by going to ritual.com slash soaps20 and using code soaps20 at checkout. Thanks so much again to Ritual for sponsoring today's video, and without further ado, let us continue our soap making. And look at clover apple tea. Look at that. I told you those greens would look so much better today. I'm gonna line this bar up in my soap cutter, Natasha, and then we'll press down gently. Y'all ready for this? Pull one from the middle, and this is what it looks like on the inside. A classic hanger swirl. Of course, I didn't have all of my layers even, which honestly, I think I like that more. I feel like it gives it a more like whimsical look. Let me tell you, out of all the soaps I've made thus far, this one is my favorite smell. It really is. It's something special. Honestly, I think it would smell so good as a shampoo and conditioner bar, so don't hold your your breath, but I might end up using it as that. Wouldn't that be cute to have like a little red or green apple little disc? You know, you could even put like a little leaf on top with water soluble paper. That would be so cute. I should do that. We should do like a red pressed bar and then a leaf out of water soluble paper and just press it in. Super loving it. This green down here is everything. Do you love it? The glitter on top, am I right? I mean, honestly, a round of applause for the good glitter. They're always coming out with glitters that I just want to use on all of my products. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing for more soaptastic fun. And be sure to do something fun for yourself today, like going to an apple orchard and picking one. <laughs> Make yourself a cup of tea. Make yourself an apple pie. You know, my mom has recently been drinking dandelion tea. I'm not a fan, but she really loves it. So maybe give that a go if you haven't ever tried it before. I don't really care what you do. Just be sure to do something a little relaxing if you can. Take a breather, you know, watch a fun YouTube video. Just do something for you. I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, bye for now. Meow.